entirely. So you might be thinking, this is supposed to be a video about physics. And it looks a lot like a video about chem. And right now, it is kind of a video about chem. We're mixing some chemicals and we're going to show you a double uh, displacement reaction using lead nitrate and potassium iodide. Sorry. There's Miss Fry. Good. There's Miss Fry. She's a uh, anatomy and physiology teacher. She's good at it. Yep. So we're going to show you a, a precipitate. The, yeah, we're going to form a precipitate by mixing these two chemicals and it's going to look really awesome. All right, so just get some of that in there. I'm going to use one of these little pipettes here. Suck some up here. Oh yeah, that looks, looks like that. This is going to be neat. Are you ready? Because here it comes. Oh, that is nice. You see that yellow substance? That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the lead iodide. It's insoluble, so it forms precipitate. Right on the, the top. the potassium and the nitrate stay aqueous in the solution. It's neat. Alright, so this is a magic beaker with all the ions floating around in it. You have the How neat is that? lead 2 plus, the iodine minus, the NO3 minus, and the K plus. They all float around in there, and then something really neat happens. Really quick. Physics. The PB2 plus has a 2 plus positive charge, and the I minus has a negative charge. They attract, because opposite charges, they attract. With a 2 positive charge, and each iodine having one negative charge, Two iodine atoms go to each lead atom, and it forms a solid. That's what you see at the bottom here. That's what you see in the uh, precipitation reaction that we showed with the, the yellow chalky substance. These, the potassium plus and the NO3 minus, they just keep floating around in there because the attractive forces between the potassium and the water are greater than the attractive forces between the potassium and the NO3 minus. Typically, you'd think they would bond together because they have opposite charges. That's just not true. That's some chem for you. So chem and physics work together. Miss Kimber, what do you think about chem and physics? I think they work together. Yeah. How neat is that? 